Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Francesco Lurati. I'm teaching corporate communication here at the Università della Svizzera Italiana. Today we're going to actually start from uh, our best assets, who are our graduates. Um, and uh, we're going to, I will ask them a little bit to share with you uh, their own experience in the program, their own experience, professional experience, uh, and how the program actually has helped them, enabled them to become what they have become, right? And maybe to share with you also some piece of uh, wisdom about how to best take advantage of a program like ours to prepare your next step and, uh, and entering in the professional in the professional life. Um, this session is actually being uh, video recorded, okay? You're not going to be on the video. I will be and they will be. Uh, and uh, we're going to produce uh, a video of this uh, presentation and this discussion to be shared. And uh, we will send you when in the next days as a follow-up of our a day here, a link also so that you can share if you want with uh, uh, your friends and colleagues or family uh, and, um, and, uh, and maybe uh, look into again if you didn't understand everything we were saying today, right? So uh, as I said before, uh, our graduates of course are the ones who should talk about the program, right? What I'm going to tell you after they have talked, it's something, it's just a summary of what you can find also in other uh, platforms like our websites or brochure. Uh, so I will summarizing, trying to give an overview uh, and then answer also your questions. Uh, however, on our website, you can also find, uh, if you dig a little bit uh, into it, you find a page uh, or pages where that it's co are called career prospects, where you find uh, our selection of our graduates sharing their own experience in written form. Also, there are some videos about their testimonials, right? So, but today we have the real ones, uh, uh, not in paper, not in video, and I would like to briefly introduce them. Um, first of all, uh, uh, let's start uh, lady first uh, and start from here. So we have uh, Noemi uh, Farina is a graduate 2014 fresh uh, from Master in Marketing and she works for uh, IKEA. She will tell us more about what she's doing. Um, on the other side, uh, we have Angela uh, Detjen, Master in Corporate Communication 2011 and uh, she worked for the Swiss Center of Supercomputing, uh, not far from here actually, uh, um, uh, an institution uh, shared between uh, Ticino, the University uh, della Svizzera Italiana and ATH in Zurich. Uh, then we have uh, Matteo Orlandi, Matteo uh, Master in Marketing uh, is the oldest uh, of the group, 2007, graduated in 2007, and worked for Simi Group. It's a small company in the area of packaging, and he will tell us more uh, in a minute. And finally, Nick Misika, who is Master Corporate Communication 2009, and uh, he works for um, Walter Reist, uh, a family-owned company uh, in the area of conveying uh, structures uh, uh, and um, therefore a business-to-business -business company. So we have here a diversity of companies uh, uh, from uh, family-owned companies, uh, the one I just introduced, um, uh, the, the Simi Group. Um, we have, uh, no, is, is it family? No, it's not partially family, while Nick's company is a family-owned company. Then we have a big corporation, uh, IKEA, and then we have a corp uh, an organization that is uh, 
partially in the public sector, uh, and uh, therefore we have a nice diversity here of representatives. So I would start, let's say, uh, from left to right, okay? I will start from left to right, and uh, by asking, first of all, to introduce yourself very quickly about what you're doing. What is your job right now? Hi, I'm Angela. Uh, I'm communication officer at the Swiss National Supercomputing Center. As uh, Professor Lurati said, we are a unit, an independent unit of ETH Zurich. And we offer, uh, we are mainly a service center offering services in high performance computing. Um, we are famous in our sector because we have the sixth supercomputer most fast in the world and the first one in Europe. Um, I'm the only one doing communication in this uh, company, so I'm really doing everything from press releases to the website, to social media, to the annual report, events. Uh, I'm really covering all areas of communications. Thank you. Nick? Hello, everyone. I work for the Walter Reist Holding, which is in, uh, in the canton of Zurich. They have the history with the one company that is called Ferac, and it's the, the market leader in the newspaper industry in conveying and processing uh, the products. And it's uh, globally, we have uh, up to 23 subsidiaries and around 1,000 employees. And uh, as you can see from, from my title, I have uh, switched a little bit uh, away from the communication where I started. And I'm now in charge for the business and market development with finding new opportunities for the company um, in uh, strategic wise to to grow for the future to have a new uh, yeah new new ways of, of of doing the projects as you can as you know that the newspapers are uh, decreasing the numbers it's switching to digital so we have to find uh, new possibilities and this is my major task thank you hello everybody um, I'm Noemi and uh, um, as you may know from the presentation, um, I'm working for IKEA, so for a well-known brand and multinational company. Uh, I started in IKEA uh, two years ago, so in 2014, at the beginning as a trainee team leader, so with a trainee program, and after one year, I became actually uh, in the position um, as a team leader sales. And what does it mean being a team leader sales in IKEA? Um, this means uh, having to deal with multiple issues every day, but at the same time, it's really an, a joyful experience. Um, being part of the sales department means that I have to manage the range of products that IKEA is offering, uh, mainly more than 9,000 products, and uh, um, basically um, adapt the product to the market and being able to fully express um, in terms of style and in terms of uh, um, production, uh, what the company would like to uh, sell. And uh, mm, I'm actually leading a team of uh, seven people, and it's uh, really something that it's uh, empowering me a lot. And uh, yeah, you will discover more later. Thank you. Matteo. Ciao a tutti, my name is Matteo. I come from Italy and I realize now that it's not 2009 when I get my degrees, I'm 420, but 2007, so I think things were quite different than they are now. Uh, but let's see the positive things, so I have maybe a little bit more things to say. Uh, at the moment, I am the marketing manager of this little company that it is in packaging market. It's not far from the northern part of Italy, in not far from Milan in specific. Uh, I'm the marketing manager there. Uh, it's one year that I'm here. Um, before, I made five years in Giorgio Armani Group uh, as a sponsoring and marketing product manager for a specific brand that was named EA7, the active, I would say, ski and mainly fitness uh, accessories and apparel brand. And now things are very different and I have the opportunity to appreciate both things. Uh, I will tell you maybe later a little bit more. Uh, during one work and the other, I made an MBA outside from USI uh, in order to see also not only the marketing part that I've learned here, but even other, some manager and 
I would say, more economical aspects. But we will see it later. Thank you. By the way, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Now we're going to more discuss a little bit the specificities of what you have learned here, and in particular, uh, what uh, and how this program or the programs that you, you took, um, the program in, in corporate communication and respectively the corporate, the, the master in, um, in marketing have helped you uh, become what you have, what you are, right? Um, so, and if you have any questions about that, please interrupt. There is Chiara here with the mic, so uh, she will run around. Uh, just wave your hand and uh, she will run up to you, okay? So, uh, Angela, maybe you want to start uh, with, uh, with uh, some thoughts about it? Okay, I, I did a bachelor before the master in uh, Milan at Tulane University about uh, public relations and adver advertising. And at, after these three years, I had really a general knowledge. I did uh, know a lot of things, but not really something in deep. Uh, this is why I took uh, the master in corporate communication, and I must say that really this master gave me a really an in-depth knowledge about all the area of communication. Uh, during my master, I also did uh, the minor in corporate social responsibility because this was uh, and still is uh, really something that interests me. And both my master thesis were about sustainability. That's why also I'm working now for a non-profit company because uh, I really need to, to work for something I believe in. But before doing this, I did uh, more than one year internships and I work for uh, the North Face at VF Corporation. And this was on, on another, on a, on another passion of mine, uh, be outdoor, uh, doing sports. And um, well, the master really uh, gave me, um, I, I think you saw in the program that there is a lot of uh, group projects, presentation, <laughs> team works, and this was at the beginning a little bit, okay, scary, I mean, a lot of time, work, but this is really, really useful because uh, you have to deal with other people that don't have always the, the same idea that you have, the same um, uh, work uh, organization as you have. You have to, to listen to them, to understand them, and then to try also to find a compromise. And this is very important after in the, in the world of work, to, to really listen to the others a good collaboration and find the compromise and the solution together. That's for me was really the most important things. These projects, group projects, this uh, presentation, and uh, this was really um, a, a good point for me for uh, after for the work. How, how did you find uh, the, the internship? The internship I found it on the career uh, webpage. Okay. Uh, so you did not work on a project uh, for North Face no, during... No, I work on the field project was for Ginsana. Ginsana. In the industrial, uh, yeah, pharmaceutical sector, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good, thank you. Nick. So I uh, started my studies in Basel. I did the Bachelor of e Economics. And I think that was a, a good basis to, um, to have this uh, general knowledge from, from the economics. But as uh, you said, is it was not so so detailed and uh, not so specialized. And uh, after this, I was doing an internet uh, design agency, and there I I get the passion for for brands, for brand strategy and brand uh, branding as such. And uh, I was then looking for a university that can give me the the best um, amount of branding um, uh, branding theory and also praxis. And um, if I'm honest, I was um, comparing the Uzi with the with the HSG in St. Gallen. And I preferred the, the courses, the courses that, you, that we have here at the UZI, and also the aspect that uh, it is so international, which I think is a, is a huge plus after the studies that you have uh, a large networks of other students that you can uh, share for your career and also for your friendship. And it was, uh, I think, a, a very good, yeah, afterwards a very good uh, decision. And uh, as I said, I learned a lot about the brands, and my goal was to work for Interbrand, which maybe 
you have heard, is one of the, the biggest branding uh, agencies. And uh, finally, I arrived there, and also thanks to the, to the stuff that I learned here, but um, now I left Interbrand, and I'm uh, very happy where I uh, work today. So what is, you studied corporate communication, as you mentioned at the very beginning, in a certain way, you know, you, you, in your career now, you've been out in the, in the real world yeah. for almost six, for six years, right? Mm -hmm. So you have evolved, you have changed a little yeah. bit of focus, etc. So what do you still keep from, uh, from the master in corporate mm -hmm. communication? I mean, we were sharing before we, we met, we met just, 20 minutes ago, so they're busy people, so <laughs> uh, we didn't have so much time to brief, uh, but um, uh, we were saying yeah. the two masters are complementing each other. We are, we have, as we will see, many courses together, but at the end, you know, the focuses are different, and, uh, and therefore, unavoidably, you know, the mindset also it's slightly different, right? So what is of the, your mindset in a certain way that you brought into this new yeah. direction that your career has taken? So uh, on the one hand, it was this um, very strong focus on the identity and uh, how companies are perceived. And to understand it yeah, in theory and in practice with a lot of group works, with a lot of exercises, it was similar to like a consulting business where we changed the surroundings and that gave me uh, a lot of uh, credibility and power afterwards when I started actually my first job at a great place to work, which is a employer branding a consultancy. And I was like trimmed to, okay, we have uh, new problems, new new customers, and and this is what we learned here. Also. Thank you. Please, tell me. Uh, basically, I can say that um, um, I, I started it here at Uzi, and I was really surprised because I started the master, uh, but before I have done a bachelor degree in, uh, in Italy, uh, in, uh, in the University of Milan, so in uh, Università Cattolica, uh, some of you may know it. And um, when I arrived here, everything was basically different, uh, but from a positive point of view. So after three years, has also, as they said before, you uh, and me, in the specific case, I, I, I was needing like uh, a change in my life and a change in terms of uh, being more open. And uh, that's why I decided to uh, come here uh, at Uzi. And uh, what I found, basically the quality, the quality of, uh, uh, of the way the professors are teaching um, the subjects. It's not just about transferring uh, concepts. It's about leaving the concept and giving to the students the idea of what they have learned during years. Uh, the motivation also of the professors was really powerful for me. And um, it was easy to stay at Uzi in terms of uh, everything is uh, crafted and thinked uh, to be um, Mm, we can say uh, easy for the students to uh, approach professors, uh, assistants, to have uh, uh, answers to multiple questions. So you always find support here at Uzi. And uh, I was, my feeling also right now is the same. It didn't change with time. Um, as also they have <coughs> said before, um, you have multiple occasions to work with others, and that's a milestone if you think that in the future you have to deal and to work with other people. And uh, especially in a group, um, nevertheless, uh, I mean, it's, it's not a problem if they are small or big groups, but you have to deal with them and to take the best out of the group. And here at Tuzi, you will be able to do it and learn how to manage with the others and take the best out of the others. Um, something that also I really appreciated was the fact that uh, after two years uh, studying and speaking in English, you can really see the difference and the quality of your English in terms of improvement. And that's particularly useful um, in the labor market because uh, uh, working for a multinational companies means that you are and you must be able to um, to speak English in, at the proficiency level because they expect it from you. And you have to make presentations and um, basically um, it's easily, 
if you have done UZI before and if you, uh, you have done an experience like that. Um, during the second year, so the first part of the second year of the marketing uh, master program, I decided to go abroad to Paris and also this was uh, an amazing experience in terms of uh, grow. So grow as a person because you are uh, outside uh, from your family, for your, from your comfort zone also. And, um, and you are practicing another language because uh, as you may know, French are really s strict and they would like to have French uh, in their life and to speak French absolutely, not English. And uh, it was an amazing experience. So I can highly recommend you to undertake an Erasmus program also. If you have the opportunity to do it, do it. Uh, and uh, last but not least, some of them also mentioned the field project. Uh, it's incredible because you have the opportunity to measure yourself uh, inside a company. So to uh, work in a team, to achieve a specific goal, and to have also a good grade at the end of, uh, of the program. So it's a, it's a good way to test yourself and to understand also what you really would like to do in the future. If your field and your passion, it's really for marketing and continue with marketing, or why not to open yourself and see other areas and experiment more. Um, yeah, uh, during the second year also, I decided to uh, take a course, an elective course of uh, HR, so human resource management, and based on my personal um, interest, so not based just on uh, credits, uh, and it was uh, definitely a, a good experience in terms of uh, formation and in terms of uh, also of uh, uh, what I'm doing now. Uh, in IKEA now I'm working in sales, but I'm also supporting HR in the recruitment phase. Uh, I'm also responsible for employer branding uh, as, as a, um, we can say, um, as a leader in IKEA, as a team leader. It's also my role to uh, do a good ambassador for my company and, um, and also recruit the best talent in, uh, in the labor market to enter inside the company. And that's what I've learned also during this HR course. So I'm really a fan of UZI. I'm not joking, but uh, it's deeply, it's deeply, yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Matteo. Thank you. I, I'm quite a fan too, and, and I speak English and French, so I can, that's why probably IKEA is now our client, not on, only for this reason. Um, I was on, on that side like eight years ago, I was imaging six, but it's eight. And I was in front of me, like you, I think a little bit, maybe I was a little bit more scared, but I had the opportunity to choose around multiple differences choices. And I decided to go at this conference about marketing or corporate communication. And I, I was thinking that in case I have found there the right, uh, ideas, the right project, I would have gone out, gone out of the room without looking at the other ones. And it was not so easy to understand the difference because I was a student, I made my bachelor here, so I had quite a clear idea of the two possibilities. But in terms of um, possible future works, what was my, what would have been my choice? And, and, and that's, then I asked to myself, what first is what's inside of me that this is like that even now, and then I look back to the courses, and and I think this is the main difference I get at that time between the two possibility of corporate communication or marketing. Uh, I will not say anything about the corporate communication side, but only the marketing side, and it's linked to the product. I mean, I'm strongly linked to the physical products. I like to touch things. I like to uh, invest on single objects and looking at courses at that time, <laughs> and, but I think even now, because I read it before, uh, there's a strong focus uh, on the product, uh, on its characteristics, on the analytics on them, and then on all the promotional part. And the main difference is when I hope, and I'm quite sure, you will be seated in a meeting in your future company, uh, everybody's able to talk about marketing, even if they don't know what it is. The financial guy, uh, the customer service director, the sales ones more than all the others, everyone is really enthusiastic about 
marketing because they smile when they say it. When they talk about that things, they normally smile. Uh, the difference between me that I've studied here and the other people that was talking at that time, even if I was quite young in the Georgia Mine experience, uh, was that I had the, the knowledge to understand things a little bit better. I mean, at that table, there's always the, 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 the young or the old one that raises up his hand and say, why don't we promote it on Facebook? Why do not we do a LinkedIn page? Why do not we make uh, some they know maybe for their kids or for their friends? And the difference is when you ask, uh, but which product are we going to promote? Why? To what audience? Uh, and then the audience is 50% after these questions. This 50% you have in the front, you can even raise down the percentage of people that can follow you, or in any case, you can understand. When you ask, but which product, why, what are the leverages we have to look at in order to choose the product, the margin? So let's go to the analysis and everybody goes away because you remain alone. Why not the most best pictures ones to create the attention and then to sell something else? But I think thanks to my studies, I had the possibility to, to go deeper in things, not only to talk about promotion. And that's why, in my opinion, the marketing um, process, the marketing studies that I've done here at UZ allowed me not only to talk about promotion, but only to go deeper in things, understand things, and had the possibility to suggest your company or the company in which you are uh, in to, to take the right choices and to discuss at these tables in a different way, in a more clever way. Thank you. I would like to uh, round up our discussion. We could go on and on and enter in the details of your, actually, the, your activity and how you are approaching it. But one thing, a piece of wisdom from your side, yeah? You, you have some distance now uh, and uh, a program is, is, is an opportunity. Joining a program is an opportunity. Uh, it lasts only two years, and you have to take advantage of this opportunity. So uh, you have to come in the program with the right mindset and say, you know, how can I take advantage of it so that when I'm done with these two years, you know, I'm ready to go out, right? So what are the pieces of uh, wisdom that you want to like, to, would you like to share with? Maybe Angela, would you like to start? I would say to be proactive. So don't just sit uh, at your desk with your books, but really be proactive. Don't be shy and scared to ask questions because these are the most important things when you're studying and especially in a master. And also get every opportunity you have. Like she said, uh, a course in HR, you say, oh, I, don't, I don't need this. But really, when you are in the workplace, then you will, you will find yourself doing a lot of things that you didn't study and you didn't think about doing. I'm also uh, working a lot with the HR office. I'm also working with the facility office and they're asking me about electricity and water supply. So really get Every opportunity you have, uh, get it, and don't be shy, don't be scared to, to, to involve yourself in, in something that you like. Nick? So in uh, my point of view, in my career, was always in two things important. Was the, on the one, one hand, I would say the, the credibility, and on the other hand, the, the network. So with, with these two aspects, I think you can uh, reach your goals. And by saying that, so being, being credible at what you what you do by your daily job, I think it's very important that you focus from the first moment that you are willing to, to focus on a niche, on something that you think that is very interesting for you especially, and then you focus it and you you you, you see, you, you follow the courses, you do this, uh, your master thesis in this field, so that you are going out and you're all already a little bit more specialized than any uh, other student that uh, was just, I think in my point of view too, uh, maybe general, so I would advise you to be uh, to, to focusing on a niche that especially is uh, yeah it's some, something that inspires you because you will spend a lot of time later in in the job and uh, a lot of hours and I think it has to be something that is really your passion. So you should uh, maybe see and also uh, especially also the thesis was a, was an important aspect to to write about something that is really something that is uh, about you that you like. And the other thing that I said is with this networking. 
Um, I think this you, you shouldn't uh, forget when you get out and uh, especially when you do marketing or communication, uh, you will use your network very, very often to, to get uh, appointments, to get the first meeting, to uh, sell your ideas. So I would use this also opportunity to network as much as possible to have uh, as lot of friends as, uh, as you can get and uh, professional wise yeah, <laughs> to use them. Thank you. Um, if I can give an advice, I would say, um, as Angela said, be open. Uh, the openness which I'm speaking about, it's um, a mental openness. So being open to new opportunities, being open to the idea to go abroad, um, be open to challenge yourself a lot of times. Um, because this will, uh, this will be precious for you in terms of uh, development, definitely. So uh, take the chance to make, to ask questions, to make additional courses, to undertake ad ad additional courses, to uh, also to learn, if you can, another language, why not? Because the, the master period is the best uh, period you have before going into the, the labor market. So you have to be prepared at the end of these two years, but at the same time you have to profit in the best way of these two years. So uh, take this time to develop yourself uh, from all the point of views. So why not from the marketing point of view, from the, uh, the knowledge point of view, from the curiosity point of view, because all these aspects that you will develop in these two years will be absolutely milestones for the future. So as also uh, um, Nick says, uh, relationships, so networking, it's, uh, it's crucial. If you think about entering in the labor market, um, being able to build and to fulfill good relationships with others, it's, uh, it's an amazing part. I mean, it's the base. And also can open you a lot of doors. So basically, just in few words, challenge yourself and don't stop doing it, <laughs> not even after the master. So this, this courage, this willingness to ask more to yourself will lead you to amazing results. Thank you. I, I like the expression, learn without being students. I mean, uh, we can use the word students in an appropriate way, in that way, uh, saying that the student can be sometimes the one that has as a purpose to pass the exams. And that absolutely, I think, it doesn't have to be your object, your purpose. Uh, maybe your, your parents or, or the grandfather would say, very good, you are very strong if you get a high degree. But I think the possibility you have here uh, is to learn not only to pass the exams, but to learn to improve yourself. Because at a certain way, at a certain point, when you will get your, your job, uh, whatever it is, uh, maybe you will be innovative start startuppers, maybe you will be self-employed, maybe you will be uh, in IKEA. There's a certain point when, if you want to do something strong, you have to ask to the people for investments. So to the bank, for example, to the angels, if you are lucky, if, you're, if you have a startup, or um, to your financial department. And in order to, to do big things and to get the investments, you have to create something, create a paper, create and give some reasons in order to start to, to do what you want. And if you have just passed the exams, maybe this is not enough, it's not enough. I think you have to give some good reasons that comes from the studies and comes from inside of yourself. Because if you tell something that you do not believe in, even if you know some good numbers, it's not enough. Probably you won't get the investments. So try to live this experience strongly, not only for the grade, but with the people and with the language, with the city, uh, with the professors, with uh, the assistants, with the groups. And, and try to look out of the books, not only on what they say, but try to think about what you are learning, how it could be helpful for you, even on newspapers, or just to understand the world around. Uh, final things, I think Lugano for me had a strong uh, belief, a strong uh, aspect in my improvement uh, because of the location. So I was Italian and that's the difference, but here it's an international city. Uh, and you see it uh, because of the language we use here, you see it from the 
origin of the professor that always is different. And you see from the stu students itself. And so live at maximum this experience. If you can, do not stay at home, but try even to live not far from the university so you can enjoy more, but even live the experience totally. So please. Thank you so much for your time and for your sharing your experience. Actually, I, I, I enjoy listening to you. I learn things. Uh, I, sometimes when you are fully involved in, in a university, in a program, you don't really realize what, uh, what is the final outcome, right? And so it was very enjoyable, and I hope that for you also it was enjoyable. Uh, so thank you so much. And uh, I will now continue with uh, about 10 minutes where I will give you an overview with some little statistics uh, who are uh, typically the, 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 the profile of the participants of this program and give you some practical information for the continuation of the day. Okay, so thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, talking about statistics, this is a little bit the comparison of the two programs and uh, in terms of country of origin, as you can see uh, here, for instance, in marketing, about 46% of our students come from uh, Italy, 31% uh, from Switzerland, 10% from the rest of Europe, and 13% from the rest of the world. Okay? Then we have for the market, the, the master in corporate communication, we have about 45%, 45% uh, come from Switzerland. Uh, and uh, Italy 27%, 12% rest of Europe, and 16% rest of the world. Uh, gender. Uh, in marketing, we have 67% female uh, and 33% uh, male. And uh, the female part in corporate communication is a little bit larger, so we have 79% and 21% male. And finally, the background. The background is 50%, uh, sorry, in marketing, we have about 39% uh, have studied communication in their bachelor, 38% economics, 6% other social sciences, and uh, the rest, 17% other topics, other area from geography uh, to sometimes some engineers uh, and so on. So very broad spectrum. Uh, in corporate communication, 50% have studied communication at the bachelor level, 12% uh, have studied economics, 18% have studied other social sciences or political sciences, and 20% have studied other uh, topics, right? So there, you see the profile is slightly different, right, in terms of background and in terms also of country of origin, okay? Um, so. The aims, the aims of the, the, the two programs, I think you have explained better than I could, right? Uh, uh, what should you get out of this program? Uh, understanding for the marketing program, understanding of the market, the market and the marketing uh, action, the analytical models, the framework, the tools that allow you to go deep and understand this aspect that you were referring. So not just throw theories or, or models, but understand where is the problem and why this and not that, right? So the analytical tools uh, rooted in practice and research pre base. You, that prepares you for a solid career in different areas from product management, market, uh, and, uh, and so on, right? And as you said, also marketing allows you to choose from a broader number, let's say, of discipline that you will then uh, find in, corp in, com in companies and organizations. Corporate communication. Uh, here, the idea is to prepare you to collaborate and to uh, some, something that you also pointed out, both of you, uh, to help the organization think about its objectives, its, its reason of existing, its, its purpose, right? So it's really the organizational side 
right? Prepare for understanding business and corporate issues and collaborate uh, with other functions, right? Uh, this is also another aim, the collaboration. I think that co came also across. When you think about what is the future of the organization, who should we be? You were saying I'm obsessed by, or I was obsessed by branding, right? Uh, you unavoidably talk about business and what actually are you going to do in your company, in which direction you go, right? Provide the tools for evidence-based, like in marketing, corporate communication is evidence-based, right? Uh, uh, so you make decision based on evidence. Uh, prepare for increasingly sophisticated discipline and function. Uh, corporate communication, communication in general, is evolving very rapidly in organizations today, and we are trying to really be uh, at the cutting edge of what's going on right now in the function and in the discipline of corporate communication. And also possibility of specialization, exactly like for the marketing program, uh, there is a wealth of choices among different minors and different electives that really allow you to co uh, customize your profile. Yeah? to personalize your profile. So the, the course, uh, the program is organized in four big blocks. The first one, the first semester, is the introduction to management. So these programs are strongly rooted in general management. Uh, it's not a communication who has no understanding of how the market works, how the organizations work, you know, but these are two programs that really rooted deeply into that, right? Then we have a block on core courses and a block on electives. Uh, and the final, and this is second and third semester together, you basically have half core per semester, half core and half elective. And the last semester, the fourth semester, it's what we call the cap work, capstone work, where you do two things, the field project, it's a real consulting project with real clients, okay? Uh, very, as you said, exciting, etc. stressful, because you have to deliver, you feel the pressure of the clients, okay? And, uh, and, 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 and the pressure of the professors who want to uh, shine in front of the clients, of course, with you, okay? And then the master thesis, okay? So, this is the menu. I'm not, of course, going through that, right? You find everything on the website, right? All the different things. I would just like to highlight very rapidly, first of all, this first semester, general management, we go from strategic marketing, strategy, organizational behavior, accounting, corporate strategy, principles of economics, and essential of finance, are topics that we take together, the two programs together, with our colleagues in management also, st students studying in the Master of Science in Management, right? So big classes here for big classes. When we talk about big classes here, we talk about 70 people. If we have 140 students, we split. So some classes, there are three streams, so we, we don't go beyond 70 students per class during the first semester. In the second and third semester, classes are coming, becoming smaller because they are specialized, right? So, for instance, in marketing, you get all these core courses that goes, and here you recognize all of them, consumer behavior, business to business, purchasing and supply chain management, service marketing, integrated marketing communication, marketing research, data analysis, uh, marketing strategy and planning, distribution management, communication law, okay? So this is for marketing. While the core courses in corporate communications are corporate identity and image, investor relations, sponsoring and partnership management, issue and crisis management, integrated marketing communication, corporate communication research methods, data analysis, public affairs, organizational communication, and communication law. These are the core courses of the two masters. You see, this is where the main difference is, okay? Then we get the electives. They are electives that we call standalone electives. These are typically electives that students in marketing take, advertising and branding, cause-related marketing, uh, international marketing, pricing, sales management, strategic brand management, writing business plans, 
Okay? While corporate communication students typically take also advertising and branding, okay? so you see there are classes also in, in the elective that are shared, and that also allow then the two profiles to be able also to communicate when they are going to be in the profession with the two different functions, right? So we get advertising, media relations, organi organizational design and change, strategic brand management, writing business plans. Then we have for all two masters, four minors. Four minors, one in digital marketing and digital communication, corporate social responsibility, content design, and public communications. I'm not going in the details, but each minor is, comp is comprised of four courses, of three CTS each. Now, you can take them all together, and in that case, you get the minor, as Angela got the minor in uh, corporate social responsibility, or you can pick and choose. You will not get a minor at the end, but your strategy is to have a broader overview. So you can pick, for instance, uh, online communication design and corporate governance, you know, uh, and combine it with uh, multimodal rhetoric or transmedia narratives. Uh, the one who graduated in 2007, 2009, these courses were not there yet, you know. So, uh, as you can see, as a matter of fact, we have more courses that you actually can take. Uh, some goes overlap, so we cannot, unfortunately, stretch the day beyond the hours uh, where, you know, from, we basically teach from 8 o'clock and we finish around 6 o'clock every day, right? So, there is a quite broad choice. And then finally, as I said, as I mentioned before, the last semester, the courses are over. Of course, if you want to take an elective uh, that you were not able to take during the second semester, you can take it during the fourth semester. But basically, the last semester is field project in teams and your master thesis. Okay, And then you're ready to go and develop your brilliant career like they did. Uh, it was mentioned that uh, uh, the, during the third semester, you can go abroad, mobility, Okay, either in another Swiss university or abroad in Europe or outside Europe. We have partnerships with universities, for instance, in Singapore, in Australia and other places, in Copenhagen, uh, Rotterdam, and so on and so forth. And uh, about one third are, of our students are actually taking this opportunity. Uh, admission, bachelor degree, Solid command, you will see what is the level that is required. Uh, solid command of English. Uh, and uh, with the promise that after two years of strong presentation, interaction, work, teamwork, etc., etc., consulting, your English will be dramatically improved. Uh, and it goes very, very fast. Uh, tutorials, as I was mentioning, we have tutorials one week, two weeks before the beginning of the academic year for accounting and marketing. And during the second semester, we have a data analysis pre-course, which is the statistic course, right? Uh, fees, as you know, for the one who are not resident here or were not resident while before applying, right? It's uh, 4,000 per semester. For residents, 2,000 per semester. There are grants on our website. You find the grants page with all the different possibilities, right? Uh, and uh, of course, we have also our orientation service that can also inform you about all these opportunities. Uh, advisory service, orientamento at uzi.ch, as I was mentioning. This is where you can get additional information and of course our master Uzi, uh, sorry, uh, website, okay? I'm the director of the Master in Corporate Communication and Professor Ivan Sneota is the director of marketing. Unfortunately, today is out of town, otherwise he would have shared the presentation with me. Uh, and the next dates, the next appointments, uh, from the 18th to the 28th, we have what we call master meetings, different days, 
different masters are presenting themselves again. So if you have friends, if you have family or people who were not able to attend uh, today, uh, stay tuned on our website, you will get the dates for different, pro uh, different uh, presentation of our different programs. Okay, the deadline for application is June 30th, and the scholarship application deadline is July 31st. Uh, 31st. Uh, here are our websites, uh, marketing.usi.ch uh, for the marketing program. You find additional information, mcc.uci.ch for uh, the marketing, uh, the master in corporate communication. Thank you so much for your attention and enjoy the rest of the day.